matalino, halina at mag-aral na tayo. Maging matyaga, maging matalino, halina at mag-aral na tayo. Halina mga bata tayo na mag-aral at samat, wala maiiwan. Mga bata, tandaan natin na kapag matangaralin, walang mahirap, basta masaya itong tatalakayin. Ngayon naman, tunghayan natin ang ikalamang matgaling na teacher para sa pagtalakay ng advanced lesson ng Grade 5, Quarter 3, Week 4. Siya ay nakapagtapos ng Master of Arts in Education, Major in Administration sa Eulogio Amang Rodriguez, Institute of Science and Technology. At kasalukuyang tinatapos ang kanyang Doctor of Philosophy in Educational Leadership and Management Program sa Pacific Intercontinental College. Mga batang mandunong, samahan natin si Teacher Rosendo G. Asistores. Good day, dear pupils, parents, and teachers in the Division of Mandaluyong. I am Rosendo G. Asistores, a grade 5 teacher of Don De Pilar C. Gonzaga Elementary School. You can call me also Teacher PJ. Welcome to Matsor, series of online academic review of mathematics, Claim Learning Modules The topic that I'm about to discuss is all about identifying the terms related to a circle and drawing circles with different radii using a compass. A circle. Circle is a closed figure, all points of which are equidistant from a fixed point called the center. This is a circle O whose center is point O. How about radius? A radius is any line segment from the center to any point on a circle. It is half of a diameter. Line segment OA is a radius of circle O. We also have diameter. Diameter, a straight line passing from side to side through the center of a circle. 
Now let's talk about chord. A chord is a line segment joining any two points of a circle. It does not pass through the center point. Line segment PM is a chord of a circle O. Finally, circumference. Circumference is the distance around a circle. You may draw a circle using a compass. Here's how. Step 1. Insert a small pencil into the holder arm of the compass. Step 2. Tighten the screw of the compass to hold the pencil in case. Make sure that the compass point and the pencil tip are level when the compass is closed. Step 3. Open the compass until the distance between the pencil tip and the compass point is equivalent to the radius of the circle that you want to draw. Step 4. Push the compass point while holding the hinge at the top of the compass. Did you get it? Now, let's see if you understand the topic. Identify the following words that are being described. Arrange the given jumble letters to form your answer. It is made up of points that are all equidistant from the center point. Very good! Circle It is one half of a diameter Nice! Radius A line segment on a circle that do not pass through the center point Well done! Call. It is the distance around a circle. Very good. Circumference. A line segment that passes through the center. Good job. Diameter. Very good! Let's try another one. This time, let's draw circles using your compass. In a clean sheet of paper, draw circles using compass with a given radius in a single center point. Ready? Go! 3 centimeters. Five centimeters eight centimeters Well done. The product of your activity should look like this. Did you enjoy the activity? Me too. I'm hoping that you learned something from today's topic. Thank you for your time, children. 
See you again on our next episode. This is once again, Teacher PJ, leaving you with a quote, Masayang mag-aral, tayo nang matuto. Stay safe everyone. Bye-bye!